Hey there folks, and welcome back to Italy in Europe Universalis for the Mare Nostrum expansion. So, I was asked today um, uh, by a friend of mine who lives in Portugal to take a look at Portugal. And of course, today for me is like 30 videos ago for y'all probably. So, you know, think it'll take a while to get uh, to get to him but still he asked on a good day before we break apart Portugal I'll probably look at some of you know the rest of the world so Portugal still got their original holdings here for now uh, they've also taken part of Morocco I believe they start with Ceuta right but uh, Tangiers this stuff they've still got uh, Cape Verde got Madeira and the Azores but the strange thing is there's no Portuguese Brazil there's there's no there's no Portugal in Brazil like at all from what I can tell so let's have a quick look see here I was a little aggressive on the zoom but still I, I want to see are there any no they're just, there aren't, none of those places have Portuguese culture. Portugal just, for whatever reason, went straight down here to the southern part of South America to get started. And, I mean, they've also got the Falklands. Do they have Georgia? They don't have South Georgia. Uh, and work their way up through Peru, all the way up the western edge over here. They've also got the Galapagos. I don't think anyone really has taken over Central America. I guess New Granada. I don't see any Portuguese presence in the Caribbean. Nope. It looks like just English and French, but Portugal has taken over um... Florida, parts of Alabama, Mississippi, and on over into here. Of course, we've got English Mexico. That's England has been going pretty crazy with their colonization. They've also got Bermuda. Denmark hasn't done any, but it looks like Scotland is definitely getting in on the game a bit. Is this Portuguese over here? It is! So Portugal is on the west coast. They've got California as well. Cool. And nobody's gotten over here yet. I still don't see Japan or Korea or China at all. Like any, any of this area. Looks like a lot of this is still, you know, Micronesia. This is still uninhabited. Looks like Spain has taken some of these islands on their way over. Are they in... Doesn't look like anyone's in Australia yet, but... Uh, I think, is that... Is that Spain down here in Polynesia? That may be... I don't know. Tough to, tough to tell. Um, we got England down here. They have worked their way all the way across. Looks like Orissa and, well, everyone in India seems to be holding strong. Yeah, just look at all this English holdings over here. All these are actually still free. Yeah, England's got basically everything. Uh, did France get? France has Comoros. We've got Madagascar owned by a native tribe. So England's got the horn, and it's like Mutapa did well for themselves. They they rode those gold mines to uh, to victory. What do they have I think they've got two gold mines and like a bunch of ivory. If I remember right. And then you know the whole coast is mostly ivory. Uh, I did finish my Kilwa campaign. I stopped after I got the uh, pretty Mercury achievement that I don't remember the name of for having Bombay. Also France, England down here. Looks like 
you know, nobody's really done anything on the western coast of southern Africa. Not even a lot of folks in through this area. But Spain's got a little bit of holding. France has a few lands. What is this? Oh, Holland. Holland's getting in on the act. Are they... These guys are protected. France. Mali was a protectorate of Portugal, but they allied with Portuguese Peru. Stabbed them in the back. Man, that's terrible. I can't believe anyone would do that. You know, France's back looks like it's well placed for, for a knife. Anyway, Portuguese. Yeah, yeah. Portugal's got this area. That's cool. Ah, yeah. Portugal is fighting back against Mali. So yeah, that's a bit of a world tour of what's going on. We still can't see uh, a lot of the East Asia stuff, which is unfortunate, but hey, we'll get there. If we were really curious, we could trade maps, but eh, we'll get there sooner or later. With all that out of the way, uh, we're in a war. Huh, what is it good for? Taking territory. Uh, we've got... Rebels in Moria, so we'll probably want to move this army down to said Moria. This is just in Moria itself, right? Indeed. Alright. So we're seating down Portugal and Spain, who are both co-belligerented. Did, 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 did. Yes, indeed. Uh, while we're in this war, I would like to declare war on Savoy, whose only ally can't defend them right now. And do, uh do them in. I'm also interested, I probably could have looked into this earlier, uh, feeding Lorraine's land to Austria. Hmm, this is a question I'm not familiar with. As, as the junior partner in a, in a uh, personal union, Will they fabricate claims like a vassal if I were to say set Lorraine too hostile? I don't know. I'm not going to actually do it, but that's something to look into. Alright, this army wants this place a siege, which hopefully will happen soon. We'll come back. Who else is here? England's here. England's also in... Well, they're in a separate war with Portugal. Uh... Yeah, the uh, Portuguese-Peru War of Independence. I think I can bring these guys back over this way, and we can look at we can look at doing something over here with the knights. I'm not co-belligerented, so I don't think I'm going to take their territory. But we can look into separate piecing them anyway. All right. Switzerland's claiming Milan. All right. <laughs> Savoy is also trying to get in on the claim game. All right. You kids have fun with all that. Yeah. Okay. That's that's fair. We can't move past Lisboa. Also, this is. This is Zazao. 50 day sieges. Alright, so what you're telling me is they're not Western, right? Tech 14? I would say not. Yeah, no, West African, which is equivalent to Chinese, I think. Yeah, they're, they're very far behind. Tech 14 militarily. Yeah, that's rough. No, thank you, Switzerland. Down here to Fez, crush that. Crush its face. Where is Austria's army? Asking for a friend. That friend is me. I am the friend. Parma, who are you allied with? Bavaria, Brandenburg, Silesia, and Verdun. Alright, well. Too big of a concern. Good, we're taking Valencia. Yeah, let's come back around. Th 
3.3 morale. That's... That, that was an absolute slaughter. I don't understand why this siege was abandoned, but I don't know. Maybe the, maybe Portugal's army intervened in some manner? Anyway, our navy has arrived in the Aegean. Right, those folks are still awfully upset. That's fair, just go ahead, park the boats in Moria. Those guys are heading back. This soon, I hope. Let's see, I'm in Moria. All oh, right, the army was also not quite there yet. Or is just Rome, and he's just Rome. All right. What kind of seed time are we looking at here? 33 days. That is... They have gone crazy on their fort levels. Wow. Lorraine sent Spain a gift, really? Bernie declared war on Lorraine for reconquest. Alright, that's fine. Interesting. Alright, Savoy. will get into position. Arrived in Cuneo. Declare war. No one can defend you. Alright, so that's normal aggressive expansion, normal prestige, normal cost. Uh, I guess I might as well declare for excommunicated ruler. Right, because yeah, I can take I can take my claims, and yeah, confirm the war. All right, this is that is our capital, and Nice is not actually a thing. You guys go deal with that. We've won the Siege of Heidelberg. Okay. Oh right, the Platinum's in the war too. I had forgotten. Uh, Portugal, how are you feeling? Still medium enthusiasm. I'm... I'm impressed. A little surprise. Not, not entirely sure if they realize that uh, they do not currently have what you might call a capital. Ooh, gain a 40 of each monarch point. I don't mind if I do. So if we were to do this, right, we would still have basically 300 points. If I were to upgrade our government, we would still have 200. I don't know, man. I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. We lost? What is this word, lost? Alright, fair. It wasn't much of an engagement, is what you're saying. Uh, royal marriage with Bohemia has ended. Fair enough. 
How old is their guy? 20. I mean, if they offer, I will accept. Yeah, okay. That's being dealt with. Very would like out. I mean, I don't guess there's anything I need from Bavaria. Right? They're all in Germany. Indeed. What are they looking to give us? Unhold treaties. Uh, I'll tell you what. Let's, let's talk... Let's talk Turkey for my end, and we'll see. A Bavaria's Emperor now? Cool. Uh, to the Platinum, that doesn't seem like it does anything. I mean, I could, I could give some land to Austria. Eh, it doesn't seem like it helps what I'm trying to do. Truce with Tunis has ended. Good deal. The knights have. We got three galleys and three transports. I'm not sweating that too much. France, there's there's Molly. Okay, they're trying to siege again. Bavaria has rivaled Bohemia, that's cool. I thank you, Burgundy. Alright, Montferrat. Decent amount of aggressive expansion, but I th think it's fine. Yeah, actually. Hmm, that was a very, actually a very helpful Casas Belli to have, to be able to take advantage of. That's, uh, what is that, 16, 15, that's 31 development we're taking on, and nobody's at all upset, basically. Good deal. Alright, let's get started on those as cores. Man, it's nice taking land that doesn't have plus uh, plus core cost modifiers. It is the right religion? God. Empower recovery speed and yearly prestige. Ah. Oh. Oh, it's beautiful. Become papal controller. That doesn't seem likely. Whole England thing. Also, not super likely. So we'll just hang out. Switzerland and Lorraine hate each, hate each other nowadays. States demand more provinces. The clergy. Ah. Hmm. All right. I'd made this stuff down here into a state, and then didn't give all of it away.
Okay, fair. These could go to the nobility. I guess there's no real problem with giving Montferrat to the clergy. 15.9. Looks like that's fine in terms of influence. 50, 50, 55. To 80, no. No, that's only to 79. 79 influence and 65 loyalty. Pay five legitimacy, but then I can take 150 points, I believe. It's pretty tasty. Yep. Let's do it. I should have looked at this first. 57, the advancement of the clergy will go away. Alright, alright, I think we're I think we're fine. As long as no missions come through and screw us, which is a legitimate concern. Peru, oh, Spain's capital is seized by Portuguese Peru. That's not ideal. Looks like they're dealing with Vladnet. Bavaria would jump right back into a war. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have enough enough things to deal with 55 yeah. enough things to deal with just coring this stuff Spain have accepted peace with Portuguese Peru all right the plot thickens thought plickens etc etc Ah, there's a fort down that way. We could try to go siege down. However, still medium enthusiasm. As length of war is a pretty serious boost in on their side. All right, we want Ceuta. We want Algarve. We could take that. That's 31 over extension. But we can have that, you know, trending downwards now. Be done with it. Truce until 62. Hmm. Doesn't get rid of their alliance. I guess I could wait for this to fall. So I could throw that in as well. Sure, I guess. Right, that's our that's our money fleet. Taking Coimbra, Conte. Fair. Alright, so that's just natural attrition. Okay, Spain has fully defensive. I think I knew that. Still, it's fine. Siege, 34 days, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's that all sounds a-okay. 
and Galicia siege that down. Eh, disease outbreak was very rough. Still had to, still had to Galicia. You know, let's break off sieges because I don't think Spain really has anything going right now. Eh, they have some, but not a lot. Alright, arrive there, break off, break off, break off, break off. Send one of you to La Mancha, send one of you there, send one of you there. Good deal. Converted Moria. Great. Oh, wow. It's going to take a long time for it to get upset enough to, uh, to be a problem now. Um, hmm. Turn over. Sure. That'll work. Go ahead. guys are there. Leave a cav. And we can't get to Madrid, but head to Toledo anyway. Oh, Rebels. E. Rebels are rough. Al uh, occupied Alicante. Oh, good. Good. We lost some troops. That makes me happy. And by happy, I mean, I mean, not that. Let's head to Suenka. How do you feel now, Portugal? You're down to three. Yeah, that's still not going to be enough for that. All right, well, it's fine. Our leader died. To replace him. It's not very good. There we go. Alright, that one's gonna lead her. That one doesn't. That one doesn't doesn't. Alright, take guy, send him there, and we'll get you a leader, kid. This is dry lands. Leader, head back, head to Toledo. Maybe we'll get lucky there. Ottomans were working on a spy network. Taking mains, it's good. Portugal, not good enough. Not good enough. Ah, we got lucky. Finally, finally got him to low. All right, so they would do that and be, apparently be kind of happy about it. Would not pay us reps. That's fine. All right, just making sure we take Algarve, we take Ceuta. And no all treaties with Spain. Hmm. 
do I really want, I know I waited the extra time, but do I really want them doing all treaties with Spain? Do I really care if they have treaties with Spain? Not certain that I do. No, I think, I think I will let them have their treaties with Spain. Let's start cores. Right, that had the Berber traditions thing. August 56, this will be done in August 56. Okay, good deal. Burgundy's getting pieces. Uh, and I'm taking a break. Thank you uh, folks for watching. I hope to see you in the next episode. We'll continue this war and yeah, start to uh, wait for some cores to come in probably and then look to take a bunch of Spanish land. It'll be awesome.